It could be the end of salmon in Aberdeenshire's longest river if more conservation work isn't done to protect them. That's the warning from the River Dee Trust, who say they're working harder than ever in a race against time to prevent the species from disappearing altogether. There's a wider fear that warming waters could lead to salmon extinction. Kirsten Tate has more. They're arguably Scotland's most iconic fish, but they're slowly disappearing, and experts say salmon are at crisis point. Here at the River Dee, they believe climate change is the reason for plummeting numbers. Climate change impacts that the fish are experiencing include the hot summer temperatures. Um, hot water can kill fish, um, but it also makes them more vulnerable to, to disease and less able to feed and grow. Already this early summer, we've had to do a fish rescue for juvenile salmon that were stranded in a part of the river that had become sort of cut off from the flow. In 2021, the number of salmon caught on Scottish rivers was at its lowest ever, at just around 35,000. Last year, there was a slight increase by around 7,000, but with record-breaking temperatures this summer, there's fears these trends might continue. The Scottish Government say they're committed to tackling climate change. And while conservation work is ongoing to try and stop the threat to salmon in our rivers, experts say more can be done to protect the species in the River Dee. The summer temperatures are expected to get warmer. To address that, we need to plant trees on the riverbanks to provide shade and help cool the water. Um, we need to look at the risk of flooding and look at how we can hold back water during floods. And there are techniques to do that. And likewise, if we can have storage water within the river system that releases water under low flows, we can reduce the impacts of drought as well. Not only do the fish bring £15 million per year into Deeside alone, those working to protect them say they are key to Scottish culture. Kirsten Tate, STV News.